First of all, we will see some important terms which is very much useful while we are going to study the further topics. So, first of all, we will see some important terms. First was the mass velocity. What is mass velocity? Mass velocity of a fluid is the ratio of mass flow rate of the fluid to cross section area of the pipe. Fine. So, basically mass velocity is a ratio. Ratio of the two quantity which is that the ratio of mass flow rate of the fluid to the cross section area of a pipe. Generally mass velocity is denoted by the symbol capital G. Capital G mass velocity is equal to mass flow rate which is m dot upon cross section area that is A. So, I can write that mass velocity G is equal to m dot upon A that is mass flow rate upon cross section area and the unit of mass velocity will be kg per meter square second because mass flow rate is in kg per second and area is in meter square. So, the unit of mass velocity will be kg per meter square second. Fine. So, this is about mass velocity. Now, next term is average velocity. Average velocity which is denoted by small u is the ratio of volumetric flow rate of the fluid to the cross section area of the pipe. Generally, volumetric flow rate of the fluid will be denoted by capital Q, A will be area. So, average velocity which is small u is equal to capital U upon A. In place of this, in place of Q which is volumetric flow rate, I can write that Q is equal to m dot upon rho. m dot will be mass flow rate and rho is the density. So, in place of volumetric flow rate, I can write mass flow rate divided by density. Fine. You can verify by checking the units also. We know that mass flow rate will be in kg per second, density is in kg per meter cube and volumetric flow rate in meter cube per second. So, in place of volumetric flow rate or in place of meter cube per second, I can write mass flow rate upon density that means kg per second divided by kg per meter cube. So, kg kg will be cancelled out and the final unit will be meter cube per second and which is the unit of volumetric flow rate. So, I can write mass flow rate divided by density in place of volumetric flow rate. So, average velocity u is equal to q by a in place of q I am writing here m dot by rho that is mass flow rate upon density. So, I can say that average velocity u is also equal to m dot upon rho a. Here. Why I am explaining this due to because in case of numericals if mass flow rate and density is given and from that you have to calculate average velocity at that time you have to use this equation m dot upon rho a and if volumetric flow rate is given and if you want to calculate velocity then you have to use the equation u is equal to q by a. Fine. So, the average velocity u is equal to q by a and it is also equal to m dot upon rho a and the unit of the average velocity will be meter per second. Fine. Now, next term is steady and unsteady flow. Now, what is steady and unsteady flow? The flow is said to be steady flow if it does not vary with time. If the flow does not vary with time, then it is said to be steady flow. And if the flow is does vary with time, then it is said to be unsteady flow. Simple. If it does not vary with time, 
it is steady flow and if does vary with time it is known as unsteady flow fine now let us move to another term that is streamline we will study somewhat about streamline in case of reynolds number if you remember that the streamline or laminar flow that means in streamline flow there is no eddies or no circulatory motion exist fine basically how we can define streamline flow flow of a fluid in which velocity at any point is constant or if it varies it varies in a regular manner is called as streamline flow again i am repeating flow of a fluid in which its velocity at any point is constant it will not change and if it change but it varies in a regular manner then it is known as streamline fine and the last term is stream tube stream tube is nothing but a tube of a small or large cross section which is entirely bounded by streamlines that is known as a stream tube so stream tube is nothing but a tube of any cross section which is entirely bounded by streamlines that is a tube in which the flow is always streamlined that is known as stream tube fine so these are the very much important terms for the next series fine now let us move to new topic which is equation of continuity basically equation of continuity is a mathematical expression for law of conservation of mass equation of continuity is nothing but a mathematical expression for law of conservation of mass but what is law of conservation of mass law of conservation of mass says that for any steady flow system listen carefully according to law of conservation of mass for any steady flow system rate of mass entering the flow system is equal to rate of mass leaving the system this is very much important so again i am repeating according to law of conservation of mass for steady system this is very important while you are explaining the law of conservation of mass for steady flow system the rate of mass entering the flow system is equal to rate of mass leaving the system that is the law of conservation of mass fine and equation of continuity is nothing but the mathematical expression of law of conservation of mass let us see how it can be represented mathematically for that here we have taken a system see this is a steady state system this is mass entering and this is mass leaving fine mass entering at that enter point area is a1 velocity is v1 and at the exit point area is a2 velocity is v2 such that a1 is greater than a2 and v1 is less than v2 this is the condition so this is the steady state system that we have assumed to derive equation of continuity so from this i can write that the rate of mass entering the system is equal to rho1 u1 a1 fine rate of mass entering the system equal to rho1 u1 a1 by putting the units you can also verify that rho which is density which is in kg per meter cube u is velocity meter per second and a is area meter square so after cancellation you will get the unit kg per second which is the unit of mass flow rate and that what we are writing the rate of mass entering the system is equal to rho1 u1 a1 and the rate of mass leaving the system equal to 
रो टू यू टू ए टू फाइन अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस नोटेशन आई कैन राइट दिस द रेट ऑफ मास एंटरिंग द सिस्टम इज रो वन रो वन ए वन एंड द रेट ऑफ मास लिविंग द सिस्टम इज रो टू यू टू ए टू फाइन दिस इज द इक्वेशन ऑफ रेट ऑफ मास फ्लोरेट एंटरिंग एंड रेट ऑफ मास फ्लोरेट लिविंग फॉर दिस पर्टिक्युलर सिस्टम एट स्टेडी स्टेट फाइन सो नाउ लेट दैट एम बी द रेट ऑफ फ्लो इन मास पर यूनिट टाइम दैट इज मास फ्लोरेट ऑफ द फ्लोइंग फ्लूड the flow of fluid in that system is m so under steady flow condition according to the law of conservation of mass i have already told you the statement of law of conservation of mass which was that rate of mass entering is equal to rate of mass leaving for any steady flow system fine so If I want to represent a mathematical form of law of conservation of mass at that time, I can write this. See here, m is equal to which is the mass flow rate of the flowing fluid is equal to rho one u one a one equal to rho two u two a two. That's what the law of conservation of mass says. Fine. So m is equal to rho one u one a one equal to rho two u two a two. And if the system is of stream tube, I have already explained you what is stream tube. Stream tube is a tube of any cross section which is entirely bounded by streamlines. And streamline is what velocity at any point is constant. So velocity, if velocity at any point is constant. At that time, I can write this equation, which is m is equal to rho one u one a one equal to rho two u two a two. In place of that, I can write m is equal to rho u a is equal to constant, because already rho and a, that is area and rho, is constant. And for stream tube, the velocity is at any point is constant. So for that, for case of stream tube i can write m is equal to rho u a is equal to constant so this is all about the equation of continuity and this is very important while we are studying fluid dynamics so in today's session we have started new chapter which is basic equations of fluid flow first of all in that we have covered some important terms like mass velocity average velocity steady flow and unsteady flow streamline and stream tube these all terms are very important in the remaining study of the theory and then we have seen the derivation which is equation of continuity i hope these things are clear to all that's all for today's lecture next theory we will see in our next lecture thank you so much